Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to crochet this ping pong flower. When do flower arrangement, this flower is suitable as the filler flowers to add texture and color to our arrangement. If you are new here, I am sharing easy crochet tutorials in my channel. Please subscribe and turn on notification. Now let's begin. These are materials we will be using. Firstly, we will do a magic ring. Now we work 6 single crochet in the magic ring. This first one is not a single crochet. So here is our first single crochet. Now the second. And the third. So here we got our six single crochet. We will then close the circle. Then we find the first stitch of this round and work a slip stitch to close this round. While moving on, we can hide the tail. Now we chain 1 to start round 2 and do not count this as a stitch. From round 2, we just work in half side of each stitch. In this round, we will do 6 increase, which means in each half side stitch, we do 2 single crochet and we repeat 6 times. So by end of this round, we should have 12 stitches. Here we can cut off the tail. Now you can pause here to finish round 2. Here we come to the end of round 2. Every time we come to the end, we do a normal slip stitch through the first stitch of this round to close this round. And every time we start a new round, we chain 1 as a turning chain and do not count as a stitch. From round 2 to the end, we only work in half side. So in round 3, we firstly do one single crochet in the first space. Now in the second space, we do one increase, which means we do two single crochet. And we will repeat this pattern six times. So one single crochet, and then one increase. Now you can pause here to finish round 3 and do a slip stitch to close this round. Here we come to round 4 with still chain 1 to start. In round 4, in every 3 spaces, we do 2 single crochet and then 1 increase, and we still repeat 6 times. Now another single crochet, then 1 increase in the 3rd space. From round 5 to round 7, we just work one single crochet in each space. Now we finish round 7 and still chain 1 to start round 8. From this round, we will decrease. In the first space, we do one single crochet, and then another single crochet in the second space. Now we do one decrease through the third and the fourth stitch. We repeat this pattern five more times. So one single crochet, then another single crochet, and then one decrease. Now 
Round 9 follows a similar pattern. You can now pause here to finish round 8 and round 9. Here we finish round 9. We will stop here to insert the filling. Then we still chain 1 to start round 10. In round 10, we just do 6 decrease. Here we finish round 10 and we can cut off the yarn. Then we will work our fluffy petals. We'll do them in the left half stitches. Now we connect our yarn. And we work 8 chains. Here you can decrease the number to get a smaller flower or increase to get a bigger one. Now we do a slip stitch through the next space of this round. So here is our first petal, and we will repeat to finish this round. So we chain 8, and a slip stitch through the next space of this round. You can pause here now to finish this round. Here we come to the end of round 1, we will move to next round by working a slip stitch. So here we come to next round, we still repeat to chain 8. And work a slip stitch through the next space. So that's the pattern. You can pause here now to finish round 2 to round 9. Here we come to the end. We just work a slip stitch through the last space. Now we can cut off the yarn and head the tail. Now we do the leaf and we'll still start with a slip knot. Then we chain 15. We got 15 chains and we need to cut a piece of craft wear. We insert the wear. Here we need to find the second space from the hook and work one single crochet and we do 13 single crochet. We will crochet along with the craft wear.
Now we come to the last space, and we will do three single crochet here. Then we move to the other side. So here is our first space to crochet. Now we continue to work one single crochet in each space. While moving on, we can head the tail. Here we come to the end of round 1. We still work a slip stitch through the first space to close this round. And we chain 1 to start round 2. Do not count this chain as a stitch. Here we will skip the current space I'm pointing at. Work 1 decrease from the second space. Then we do two chains, and then we do a slip stitch through the back bump of the first chain. We do a slip stitch in the next space. This way we finished the first tip of the leaf, and we will repeat. From the next space, we do one decrease. Then two chains and a slip stitch through the back bump of the first chain, then another slip stitch through the next space. So we got the second tip. We repeat again. So from the next space, one decrease. Then two chains and a slip stitch through the back bump of the first chain, then another slip stitch through next space. We come to the end and we got one space left, so we do one single crochet here, and then we cut off the yarn. And we wrap the end, so our leaf done. Now we'll do our flower toros, and we still start with a slip knot. Now we insert the hook and work two chains as a turning chain. Do not count this as a stitch. Then we will work 7 double crochet in the circle. So here is our first double crochet. Now our second double crochet. Then our third double crochet. You can pause here to finish 4 more double crochet. So here we got 7 double crochet, now we will close the circle. Then we will work a slip stitch through the first space to close this round, and we, we will turn the inside out. Now we will work 4 chains. Then we find the second space from the hook and work a slip stitch. Here we do three slip stitch. We skip the current space and 
In the next space, we do a slip stitch. So here we finish our first petal. We will repeat, chain four. Now three slip stitch. Then in the next space on the circle, another slip stitch. So here's the pattern of the flower torals, and we will do seven of them. Now we have seven, and we can cut off the yarn. Then we can move the tail to the back of the flower torals. Here we can tie some knots and cut off the tail. Now assemble all parts, done.